Libra. Thank you so much for coming to your weekly love reading. This love reading is for uh, June 9th through June 15th. I know. Get excited. It's the 14th. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't matter. Sorry about that. It's coming late, but it is what it is. Uh, this should resonate for sun, moon, rising, or Venus. It can also resonate for cross watchers. This can be your situation or your partner's situation. I feel like I have to say this on every Libra video. Um, because there's a lot of people dealing with Libras, um, a lot of the energy that I'm actually pulling in is from the cross watchers. So for those of you that are, you know, uh, Libras, like legit Libras, right? The too legit to quit. It's probably flipped or reversed. So just keep that in mind. Um, just want to throw that out there. If you haven't already, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. If you want to receive alerts for when I post my readings, please feel free to comment and, um, you know, share your thoughts and opinions. Uh, and uh, if you want to book a personal reading with me, please feel free to check out my website, aaftarot.com. And with that being said, let's go ahead and hop into your reading. Libra. All right. Who is Libra's person of interest? Who is Libra dealing with romantically? Ninth through the 15th. Okay, Ace of Cups. All right, and I'm just going to say this. Um, this can either be, you know, I, I, I read the signs, right? Whatever signs I see, but also really focus on the characteristics, okay? How does Libra feel about this person romantically? Okay, Ten of Cups. Possible Pisces. What is the current issue or situation with Libra and their person of interest? King of Pentacles, you guys may be dealing with a Taurus or a uh, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, or even a Leo. That may be the situation or the issue. Okay, do you want to throw that out there? What is the current block or an external influence for these two romantically? Okay, Princess of Pentacles. Possibly a baby or children, or this can just be the fact, maybe it's an earth sign, that there's some type of issues. And what is the um, outcome for this week? 9th through the 15th for Libra. 9th through the 15th for Libra. Wow, strength, okay. It's crazy because today's card of the day is actually, or daily energy was strength. I feel like whatever type of offer, you know, either somebody offered, made you an offer or vocalized something to you pertaining to love. This person may have a Cancer moon or they may be a Sagittarius or something of that sort. It's like there's something that's going on um, underneath. There's some type of transformation that is taking place. And I feel like you don't see it, Libra, or your partner doesn't see it. Um, and that's just because, like I said, it's something that can't be seen. It, it's some type of spiritual transformation and maybe that's why this person has been quiet or maybe that's why this person hasn't necessarily been accepting of whatever you're offering. Um, also too, this person can be highly emotional for whatever reason right now. And maybe you're kind of questioning like what the hell's going on here? I do want to say that only because we do have top of the deck, four of cups, bottom of the deck, temperance, okay? Or it can be too that maybe you guys are working on manifesting something, something that hasn't worked out or something that's not necessarily worked to your advantage. Can you give me a little bit more information about Libra's person of interest here with this ace of cups? Eight of swords, you guys can also be dealing with a Gemini. You know, um, ace of cups, eight of swords, right? Those are kind of different energies. There's a possibility that either you're not talking to this person or this person is not talking to you. Also, too, with the Eight of Swords, how I look at that is like think of a snow globe and it's like you're trapped, right? You can see what's going on around you, but you physically can't move. It's like this person is in a bubble and they're really trapped with their thoughts and how they, you know, want to move forward. The problem is... uh because of whatever's going on, right? And the Eight of Swords is definitely Jupiter and Gemini. They don't feel like there's any progress, right? That there's there's no place to expand or there's no growth. And it's definitely in their head, you know, about either what to offer you or what's been offered to them. And as I said, that the all gifted fell out. So giving oneself, right? 
I don't know if this person, you and this person are either together or maybe, maybe you are together, but this person isn't completely committed or, you know, you may not be together at all, but this person is in their head about completely committing. And maybe this has to do with moving forward. Here's a chariot. That's definitely cancer. It's also about a level of security. Like I feel like th to this person, whoever they are, security is so important. It's like having a place where their mind isn't running rampant and having a place where there is a level of forward movement and progression, that's important. However, it, it, it's like sometimes how it's done isn't necessarily the right way. And I asked where the chariot's going and it's to the Empress. So either your partner is pregnant or you may be pregnant or Libra, this is you, right? Libra Taurus. It's also about a level of like nurturing, right? And home. I don't know. There's something here that's growing or there's something here that this person is processing pertaining to where does this relationship go? Does it have the ability to, you know, um, come together as one like does the empress have an emperor or you know is this something that's very stagnant and i feel like this person is is curious on that also too if you guys want to know more about your person of interest um this may be somebody who like i said uh, this possibly could be a writer. This could be somebody who is very like articulate. Maybe this is somebody who is an analyst, somebody who's very good with numbers or that type of thing. It also can be, you know, uh, a bus driver or anybody that drives like transportation, uh, a pilot, a, uh, ambulance driver or somebody that works in the medical field. And also possibly it can be somebody who um, who has kids or is a mother or a father or of that sense or is somebody that is a caregiver. All right. One card here for Libra's person. Okay, the moon. I do feel like this person, possibly Pisces or Cancer, I think that there is a lot that they're hiding from you. Either, like I said, they're either not talking to you, Libra, or... There's something that they're hiding. What's their person hiding? The Two of Cups. That's Cancer Venus. How does Libra feel about this? The Eight of Swords. I mean, I don't think you feel good about it. You know, your person can be hiding the fact that maybe, you know, they're in love with somebody else. Or maybe, you know, um, that where their heart lays or, or where their heart is, isn't necessarily with you completely because how you'd feel about it is the eight of swords. Uh, for me, the eight of swords too is, you know, you may feel like you don't have enough to stimulate them, right? Because I feel like for some reason, your partner is, is a very mental person, like not like mentally unstable, but there's somebody that processes things in a different way, in a different manner. They're very logical hyper logical and they need a lot of clarity they need a level of security and i feel like for you guys it's almost like communicating in the same language to get on the same page it's almost like you have to stimulate them mentally before anything physically happens and i think that you're worried about that and you you know you would feel like it's a tower moment it's a sense of betrayal possibly you know um Aries, Capricorn, or Scorpio, you, you wouldn't feel good about something that they're hiding. All right. What, what is something um, that Libra needs to know about this person? Or what is something that you want to say to Libra about their person? Uh, it's fuck your job. Yes, work is important, but your partner is more important. So Libra, if you if you guys are working a lot right now, it's almost telling you, you need to focus on your partner, especially if this person is going elsewhere to seek additional attention for whatever reason. You know, it can be because you're too focused on your job and not this person of interest. Now, 
I know you guys are going to pop back and be like, well, if they, you know, if they don't like the fact that I'm working hard, then fuck them. Bye. Okay. Yeah, I get it. Right. However, this is the message that's coming across. Um, I also feel like too, based on the Libras that I know, you know, like my dad's a Libra, my brother's a Libra, my boyfriend's a Libra. I'm a Libra rising. You know, Libras are very much centered around their work because that's how, you know, we provide for our family, right? That's how we provide. And, you know, work gives us the ability to have a sense of self as well as, you know, uh, certain accolades, right? Because I feel like Libras are good at work. That's something that Libras excel in. Now, you know, you may be putting too much emphasis in your work and your family life is falling apart in the process. That is also, you know, definitely a possibility here. All right. How you feel about this person is a Ten of Cups. So I do think that you feel good about them, right? I feel like there, there's, you know, it, it's an abundance of happiness completely, right? Ten of Cups is dope. However, I feel like you do have a sense of like, shit, is this going to end? Because for me, the Ten of Cups is something, you know, that's Pisces. That's all about like illusions and mysticisms and, you know, dream. Like you may feel like, wow, this is so good. I feel like I'm in a dream, a dreamlike state. And, you know, curious if this is something that's going to last. More information on how Libra feels about the person of interest. How does Libra feel about their personal interest? Five of Wands, okay? I mean, this can also be a relationship that you've had to fight hard for. That's, you know, that's definitely something that's coming in, especially with that Five of Wands. You know, there is something that you're battling here, and it can be an internal battle. It can be something else. However, you know, how you're choosing to view this situation as something that you have to fight for because that's a uh, Leo and Saturn and how, you know, someone with a Leo and Saturn would fight was one, they would work on themselves first and then prepare for something else. Right. And it also would be something internal that was pushing them to want to have, you know, that level of success. Information here on the five of wands, nine of swords, yeah, you're going back and forth. This may be an internal battle, too, with you. Nine of Swords, that's definitely Gemini. And I feel like, you know, you're in a sense that you're very trapped. Why are they trapped? Because of the Six of Pentacles. Maybe you don't know exactly what you should offer. If this is a partnership that has the ability to grow. Or if this is just something that it is what it is, right? Right? It's also about give and take. It's about a gift. It's about receiving. You know, maybe this relationship may require a little bit more financial assistance, or maybe this is a relationship where you're constantly the one that's cashing out here. Possibly dealing with an Aquarius as well with the star card. I feel like, you know, you definitely have a lot of hope here. That is something. Um, I do feel like, you know, there is a level of stubbornness. However, especially with these next two cards, it's like, I feel like you're really trying to come at the situation the same way with this person and it's just not working. You can't approach this person the same way because this person is constantly evolving. They're constantly changing. And, you know, and I'm saying that it's it, it's a very stubborn energy because it's fixed. This energy is very fixed. It's very persistent, very stubborn, very practical, very focused. But it's the same routine, right? So something has to change here. What is, uh, what is Libra like about the person of interest? Four of Wands. Okay. Um, you know, definitely the fact that this person, you know is somebody that you'd want to settle down with. I think that this person is somebody who, you know, is very stable, somebody that um, is very independent, somebody that is very sexy, somebody that, you know, you would be comfortable having a home with. 
I think you like that. I also think you like the fact that this person is kind of like funny or goofy. It's not the same thing on a consistent basis, right? This person is very different. And I feel like this person makes it known with what exactly they want from you. And I'm saying that because it's a seven of wands reversed. It's like this person isn't sitting there forcing you to second guess what's going on. It's like they're not allowing you to be in a place where you're not sure where they stand. And this person is very reliable and that's something that you like. What is Libra not like about their person of interest? The fool. I think, and this can be a uh, Pisces or Aquarius, I think that it makes you nervous with how unpredictable this person is. Because for you, for whatever reason, and it can be the fact that, you know, granted, uh, Aries is a fixed sign. However, you know, uh, Pisces is not. They're changing. They're forever changing. There's a lot of change with this person. And I think... You know, there's something very new about them. Six of Swords. And maybe this person isn't as overly emotional as they were prior with you. Maybe this person is coming at you and more so of like a very like, uh, you know, think about Aquarius. Like how does Aquarius communicate? Right? Very, you know, emotionally detached. No offense to the Aquariuses out there. Just, just saying. But it's from a scientific point of view. It's from a different perspective. And maybe your perspectives are different and that's something that you don't like. You don't like the fact that if things go wrong, they're like, well, fuck it. I'll just get up and move on. You know, that may be something that makes you nervous. Or the fact that they do have the ability to move on. And it can be with somebody from their past. Oh God, I'm going to get roasted. So your card here is, uh, <laughs> I said, what is the queer, or what does Libra need to know here? And it's, you cannot, or you can't say thank you enough. They deserve a medal for putting up with your ass. God damn it. So, um, yeah, I mean, listen, Libra, like, you know, I'm a Libra. I'm a, I mean, I'm a pain in the ass 90% of the time. So I get it, you know? And I think it just has to do with that back and forth. And I think that the person that, you know, your person that you're dealing with, you know, they really are here for the long haul, even if there is something over here that's a little bit wonky that you're unsure about. Um, this person, I feel like, you, you know, you and them have been through a lot. And I feel like there has been trials and tribulations and lies and deceit on both ends. And, you know this person really does care about you because they've kind of stuck with you through everything. Also too, you know, the card is also have sex. Do you really need a card for this? I mean, I think that that's telling you Libra, like get out of your head about this person that, that it's like as great of a communication or as great as communication is, you still have to have a level of physical touch where with these cards, there's not, it's, it's mostly sword energy, right? Or cup energy. Like there's not a lot of uh, wand energy, which I feel like is needed. This person and you need to have sex. This person and you need to touch one another and have that type of level of intimacy or else you guys are just friends. It's a platonic relationship. So the current situation or issue is the King of Pentacles. Can you give me more information on this King of Pentacles, please? With the Fool. Okay. King of Pentacles, uh, Taurus or Leo. It can be a Leo that is the issue or Taurus or it can be a Pisces or Aquarius. Um, you know, it can be the fact that there's some type of new start here with this, this King of um, King of Pentacles. How would uh, Libra feel about this king? The moon. You don't know about it. You don't like it. It's something that's uncharted. I feel like you're there. You're somewhat defensive about that. Again, Pisces or Cancer. Um, what does Libra feel like they don't know about it? The sun. Hmm. That's kind of interesting. So here's the thing, you may feel like somebody else has made an offer to your person, right? 
It also may be that somebody made, you know, that somebody is coming back around that you do not have knowledge of. It may be some type of, you know, start where you're worried that this partner is even considering it. As asinine as it sounds, think about it. You're still worried that your partner, you know, is has the ability to take that leap of faith, even if you guys have a relationship that's somewhat solidified and somewhat consistent, right? It's that anxiety behind it. However, it's it's what makes this person happy. It also can be a Leo. It can be a Leo that is making that decision. It can be a Leo that's make you know that's not revealing themselves, showing you what they're doing. Because there's heavy Leo energy here for whatever reason. Um, you're worried. You're very, very worried. Why is Libra so worried? Because of the high priestess. Because this person isn't telling you exactly what they're doing. They're very, very quiet. They're not posting on social media. They're not calling you or talking to you as frequently um, this person is keeping what they're doing very hidden, very undercover. And I feel like for you guys, again, this is Taurus or Cancer, but I think for you guys, you, you're wondering, like, what the hell are they doing? Are they juggling more than one person? Like, are they just kind of like pulling me along for the hell of it? Like, what's going on here? One card here for the situation. Ace of Swords, Four of Cups. It's also, too, you're worried that maybe, you know... You're going to find out that, you know, this person has been sneaking off seeing other people, right? It's it, it's it's also too like that nervous energy. You have to make sure, like I am gonna say this, you have to make sure for whatever reason, whatever thoughts you're having, that they're real thoughts and not just something that's being fabricated or something that, you know, um, like you're not coming across like what is the word? paranoid because for you it's almost like you feel like this person is sneaking around with somebody else when you're not there like there's some type of habit or routine here person may have a cancer moon there's something definitely here to that and that can be on your end libra or on your partner's end why because of the seven of swords because for you, it's like the things that used to excite them don't excite them anymore. And almost too, you feel like there's just something that you're not understanding. There's something that you're not getting. Like how could this person not accept what you've given them the entire time? Now all of a sudden they're turning their back, right? And this can be for Libra or their person of interest. I just wanna say that. Also too, it's like this person, it's it's just the beginning. It's like they're not taking things serious. You or them are not taking things serious because it's like this is just a start. Like what happens a month from now, two months from now, a year from now? Like what does it look like then? Is there still love there or is it something that, you know, we walk away from again? That's something that's coming up heavily. One card here for Libra. Okay. Family shit's getting on your nerves. Have each other's back. Okay, this can also be a family situation, right? You or them have kids or maybe they have kids or a family situation. Like there's a lot going on in everybody's life. And I think that the main thing here that they're trying to express to you guys is that, you know, having each other's back through thick and thin, that is key, right? It's like if they're your partner, they're your partner through, you know, thick and thin. And... I just feel like for you guys, that that's important to acknowledge. If somebody's on the verge of snapping, well, why are they snapping? What is stressing them out? Ask them, is there something I can do to help, right? Like, I think that there's a level of communication that's needed, but in a different sense here. For the external influence or block, you have the Princess of Pentacles. So this can either be the fact that there is a new beginning or something that's opening up or something that you're looking into, right? Princess of Pentacles is pregnant. So there's something growing in her, something very substantial. Somebody may be actually physically pregnant or, you know, it can be the fact that somebody's being passive aggressive. Somebody's being very cautious, you know, very passive, very receptive. Um, 
No more information on this Princess of Pentacles, please. Seven of Wands. This person may have a Leo Mars. For some of you guys, I think somebody's pregnant and they're very protective of what is theirs and they feel like they have to fight. Fight for like, you know, fight for what's best. Even if it's going against how they feel or what they want. But there's a level of uncertainty here. Or something that they feel like isn't flowing right. Which is forcing them to fight. King of Swords. Possibly a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. This is also Aquarius or Libra or Aquarius or um, Leo energy. This is very fixed energy. Like... There's something very much here about this entire situation. Somebody has a very different way of going about things. Somebody has more so of like immutable energy where the other person is more fixed. Like I know Libra is a cardinal energy per se, but this energy here is not. It's very stubborn. How does Libra feel about this King of Swords? The devil. Um, Capricorn, Scorpio, with the Four of Cups. I feel like, you know, you're very fixated on what is being offered and what is being rejected. Because for you, for whatever reason, and this is Cancer Moon as well, Cancer Moon keeps coming up because that Four of Cups has came up a few times. You feel like, you know... This person isn't giving you enough, and this can be for either person. So it's like, if they're not giving you enough, then who the hell are they investing in? Who the hell are they attached to? And I said in my head, why are they not accepting this? And it's the Two of Pentacles. It's because this person, okay, one, they can be juggling other people. You or this person can be juggling other people. Because um, to me, like, the Two of Pentacles is definitely, like, that fuck boy or fuck girl energy. However, I do think, too, though, with the Two of Pentacles, this is um, Capricorn and Jupiter. So, for me, how I look at that is it's very much, you know, focusing on yourself, focusing on their own finances, trying to build themselves up prior to bringing anybody else in. It's like, how can I make myself right before I, I get my finances in order, before I'm straight? And that may be an issue here. And they may be sacrificing, like there may be a level of sacrifice here. You know, they may be sacrificing something solid in order to get themselves right in the process. Can you give me more information, please, on the block? Whoa. Knight of Pentacles, okay, that's definitely Gemini or Virgo energy, um, or it can be Capricorn or Taurus, however, the Knights are usually the mutable signs. The thing about the Knight of Pentacles, too, is I think that's something that's being blocked here is whatever is being offered isn't enough. It's like the offer that's coming is coming too late because it, it, it was such a long, lengthy process. It could be possibly because it took, you know, you guys a long time to make the decision to say, okay, I want to offer this person something where now it's like they're in a place where they have multiple offers and now this offer coming in is just too late and it's just not enough. But whatever's being offered here, this person isn't happy with. No, it's fine. Whatever's being offered, it's, it's, I said, why isn't enough? And it's the seven of pentacles. Because there's been a period of wait. This person is tired. They're tired of waiting. And the Seven of Pentacles, again, that's Taurus energy. So do you guys see how what I'm saying when I, when I, you know, when I specifically said, like, this is very much a very fixed energy. It, it, it's a process, right? Also, too... Whatever love is going on between you, it can't remain pure if there's not somebody that's forgiven. Like, there's something that has to be forgiven here that I feel like this person isn't. It's like they're not forgetting the fact that they've put in a lot of effort and they've put in a lot of time. 
What are they tired of waiting for? The Three of Pentacles. I mean, that can be things working out. That can be things working together. That can be things flowing. That's uh, Capricorn Mars. Mar Mars and Capricorn. That can be the fact, you know, physically of money coming in. That can be the fact of having a level of structure. Doing the right thing. Having things planned out. Knowing where you're going. What you're doing at all times. Also, too, I feel like it has to do with you and this person having sex. Two of Wands. It's like you and this person need to be close to each other, right? You guys have to have that balance in that partnership. You can't have a great relationship without sex. It just doesn't work like that. For some of you guys, you're going to be like, oh, yes, we can. No, the hell you can't, okay? Um, in my personal opinion, sex is important. Because as exciting as words are, okay, four of, one, four, four of swords, that's Libra in Jupiter. As exciting as the thought of what something could be, that's still not helping the fact that it's stalled energy, it's stuck because that physical touch isn't there. Can you give me one card here, please, for the situation or, or what's blocking? Yeah, time for analyzing um, a matter a little deeper. Like, really look at the situation. Look at what's being had here. Look at what's going on. Um, and if you want things to be different, the best person to start with is yourself first. You can't change other people, but you can change you. All right? So, your card uh, for, you know, the ending is strength. Um, this is This is awesome. I love this. Either you're, you know, defending something that's yours, maybe, you know, something, some type of ego is being put to the side so that something can come about. Um, but I actually really, really like this energy, okay? If you want to know more about this, plus how does your partner feel about you, uh, what are their, what are their, uh, hello, I'm having a brain fade, what are their intentions long term, what are they hiding, obviously they're hiding somebody or something over here, um, their next actions, advice, and ultimately the outcome, please feel free to uh, click on the link in the comment section. It will take you right to uh, Vimeo. And um, yeah, you guys can watch it there. For those of you that this has brought enough clarity, thank you. I love you. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.